welcome to my humble youtube channel welcome to my first video for today's video i wanted to uh, present myself to you guys so i decided why don't i you know why don't i do a little you know get to know me questions kind of thing and we're gonna start with these questions because i have so many questions let's get straight into this video guys first question is where are you from I thought you guys would know this from like my strong accent, but for those of you guys who don't know, I am from Haiti. I'm from Haiti. I'm Haitian. I'm pure, pure, 100% Haitian. Second question is, do you have a boyfriend? Oh my God. Do you have a boyfriend? No, I don't have a boyfriend. I'm single like a dollar dollar bill, okay? What is your biggest fear? Hmm. I don't really have like a, a, a huge fear kind of thing, but... I gotta take my time to explain this to you guys because it is crazy to me. Even for me, it is kind of crazy because it's not really a fear. It's more like a shit, I am going to die kind of thing. You know, it's not even a fear. It's like past that, way past that. You guys ever like take the train and they go over like the bridge with you guys? Or even like being in a car and they go like over the bridge, over like the huge, like the huge mass of body like you know of water that's under you whenever i am on the you know on a train or in a car and stuff like that and i'm going you know over that i'm just thinking i'm just thinking to myself i'm in the train i'm like this is it <laughs> every time i'm like this is it this is the day this is the day this train's gonna fall and it's gonna kill me and leave everybody alive i don't know why i'm just thinking this is it this is it if i fall in that water like i'm so scared of that and the fact that i actually have to take the train to go to school and i come uh, to you know like go over the bridge all the time like literally all the time it's it's still there it is still there i'm i hate it i actually hate it i really do i hate that so moving on to the fourth question if you could go to one place right now where would it be if i could go and live there forever i would like that i literally like, just go get all my things and just move to <laughs> and move to greece because it is like so pretty to me so yeah, if I'm getting married, it's definitely going to be in Greece or Italy. I don't know. One of those because I really like those countries. Fifth question, who is your idol? Someone you look up to. Uh, My idol is definitely my mother. She is, I'm talking, when I say go get her, I'm talking about go get her, okay? She, if she wants something, she will work for it non-stop. If I want something, I'll take a break. You know what I mean? Like, I'll take a break. I'll take, like, five breaks. You know what I mean? I'm kind of lazy. I'll, like, take a break of five. She won't, like, she won't stop until she get what she, like, wants. She works so hard for it. And, you know, I wish I could be like her when I grow up because pet peeves. Do I have any? Where do I start? Where do I start? I think I need to make like a whole new video for pet peeves because I have so many. If I were to actually sit down and tell somebody how much, how many things I don't really like, like they would think that I'm kind of stuck up, but I swear, I swear I'm not. Like I'm very welcoming, okay? But I have so many pet peeves. One of them, the main one, would definitely be when people touch me while they're talking to me. It's weird to me, you know? I feel like um, it's probably part of their love, five love languages and stuff. When they're talking to you, they have to touch you. It's, I just be like, woo. Or when they laughing and they got to hit you like ma'am <laughs> ma'am child abuse child abuse you know like every single time that happens i just have to be like oh, okay okay let's stop it like stop okay i don't like it i don't like when people touch me next question what makes you happy i love cooking it just makes me so happy that i get to do like 
different things and you know experiment i guess you could call them yeah i like doing that and i love dancing i don't know how to dance but i love doing it it makes me happy as well um what else I love having conversations. I love having like, it don't have to be deep, you know, but it could be like very long and keep it interesting, you know, kind of thing. It makes me so happy. I just be so happy when someone actually knows how to hold a conversation. It just be like, oh, what? So yeah, and my friends make me happy. My friends make me happy. My dog made me happy. My family makes me happy literally everything makes me happy okay i'm just a happy person uh what is your favorite food i like thai food like that's it like that's it what did you want to be when you grew up for as long as i could remember i wanted to be the president of my country which is haiti like i said before i wanted to be the president like there was no second choice no backup plan no plan b i wanted to be the president of my country so bad i had like the whole um <laughs> the whole thing planned out how i'm gonna do every single thing step by step how i was gonna change my country for the better how i was gonna build jobs and stuff like that I was like and then the next one i wanted to be a scientist i wanted to be a scientist but then i'm like Ugh. oh that's a lot of school that's a lot of school honey that's a lot of school and my parents are haitian and they like come on now come on sis you gotta you gotta do something fast you gotta do something fast how many children do you want i want three of my own and i want six adopted because i feel like you know i want a lot of kids but i don't want to push out a lot of kids if that makes sense and i also like you know the whole idea of giving somebody a family of their own where they could feel welcome and i feel like you know they they rejected or something so yeah definitely like if i could adopt every single child listen i would i would but i definitely want to adopt six of my own how many siblings do you have? Zero. I'm an only child. I'm an only child. Do you want to get married? Yes, of course I do. Like, come on. That's like the whole thing. That's like the whole purpose. Grow up, you know, enjoy your life and find somebody to like settle down with. You know, for when your teeth falls out, you could have somebody to pick them up for you and just be like, I'll wash them for you, baby. Oh, awesome for you. You know, things like that. What's your favorite season? Um, I like summer. I like summertime. Summertime is great. It's, it's the best, really. Can you speak another language? Yes. Yes, I can. I speak five. Actually, no, I'm lying, okay? I can speak four and a half. Four and a half, which is Creole, French, English, Spanish, and I'm learning how to speak Italian right now. Would you like to see me try? Because I'm from Haiti, I speak Creole and French in Haiti. So Creole. Hi, oh, bonsoir. Moi, le mari. Moi, pas le Creole parce que moi, sorti Haiti. Ça, c'est langue officielle, non? Je parle le français parce que dans mon pays, Haiti, on apprend à parler le français à l'école. Um, I speak English because when I moved to this country, I had to learn how to speak, you know, the the country's language. Yo hablo español. Sí. Sí, okay. Yo hablo español. Yo aprendí a hablar español en el mi trabajo. Porque los personas lo hablan. Lo entiendo más de lo que digo. So, see, sí, hola, mami, hola, papi. Um, and lastly, parlo un po de italiano. So, I'm just starting to learn it. I know how to say like the basic things, but um, basically, the thing is that I do want to learn a lot of different languages before you know, before I die and stuff. Like, I want to learn at least like 
10 to 15 languages um so yeah right now i'm learning how to speak italian so i could you know say things like buongiorno you know things like that are you in school now yes i'm in college what's your major paralegal i'm taking paralegal in college favorite way to relax uh, i have two favorite ways of relaxing the first one is like just bringing my a blanket to the couch and just uh, making some popcorn my mom literally just got me a popcorn machine she's so adorable uh so yeah making some popcorn and you know some drinks and then just chilling in front of the uh the tv watching like binge watching some you know some old tv show and the next one the next way i like to relax is the next way i like to relax is uh just laying down in bed and having like some coconut chips i love coconut chips i literally have one like literally just looking at me right there uh some coconut chips while listening to audible books like listen what's one tv show or movie you could watch forever and never and never um one tv show would definitely like my top my top tv show would definitely be sex in the city i just love them i just love samantha <laughs> i'm kidding i love all of them i just love all of the ladies in there and the way they dress and their their whole aesthetic i just love them a movie what movie would it be oh my god it definitely would have i don't know i don't really watch a lot of movies like that but it would definitely have to be like a scary movie or at least a funny one where would you like to be in 10 years 10 years i'll be 30 i'll be 30 years old i see myself as a successful well off you know um a trainee married to the love of my life and stuff yes with my first child in 10 years you know working towards becoming a partner in my law firm things like that you know i'm just gonna speak things into existence you know are you happy with the person you've become i definitely am happy with the person that i've become because looking back you know looking back i learned so much and i grew from the person that i was i'm i still remain the same person but i grew and i am able to you know look back and just laugh at certain things and be like wow i worried about you know things like that when you know so yeah and i honestly cannot wait to look back again in a couple of years maybe like three more years even and just looking back and just being like wow i'm worrying about things that you know that are like that have no type of importance now you know kind of things like that what's your favorite hol holiday um my favorite holiday all of them all of them i love everything that involves you know uh f uh you know friends and families and stuff like that what's one thing you spit the most on <laughs> um <laughs> clothes maybe yeah i spend money on a lot of dumb stuff but clothes would definitely be like the top one or food no actually oh, fruits actually fruits i spend a lot of money on fruits because i eat fruits every single day i'm like a fruitarian or some stuff i love eating fruit so i spend a lot on money you know uh what is one oh what is a weird secret talent you have i don't think it's like a a, a secret talent you know i think it's mostly like just just uh something that i do from time to time i with my toes i like picking things up <laughs> From the floor with my toes because i don't like bending over and picking things up because whenever i do i really i get dizzy very fast i get dizzy like from doing the the easiest kind of thing so whenever i do that i get dizzy so i learn to just like pick things up from the floor with my toes and i didn't think it was weird obviously i didn't think it was weird until i did that in front of a family friend who was over at our place and um 
they turn around like wait <laughs> they're like what do it again i'm like do what and i'm like confused because you know that's something i do all the time around my family and no one ever say anything because you know so yeah that's one thing that I guess it's weird, you know? Celebrity crush. My celebrity crush is Ian Summerholder. Okay, this guy is amazing. He's not just a beautiful person on the outside. He's a beautiful person on the inside. The things that he do, like, just so amazing. What are three things you enjoy doing by yourself? Um, I enjoy sleeping in my own bed by myself. It's weird, but it's like... I tried to sleep like oh my god I was a sleepover with my friends and listen listen okay I needed like five massages I felt like somebody just ran, ran like their truck over me and just like ugh. and then the next day they were like Marie you slept so ugly you had the whole bed like duh like what you think I'm gonna do like what so yeah I enjoy sleeping by myself Okay, I don't like sweaty people next to me. I enjoy doing yoga by myself. I, we had a class in high school, a yoga class in high school. And when I left high school, I kind of never gave up on it. I kind of never gave up on it. So I actually like doing that by myself as well. And another thing I enjoy doing by myself is eating by myself. I enjoy eating by myself where people, sh you know, like, always having to share i love don't get me wrong i love sharing okay i love sharing sharing is caring uh but i enjoy eating my food by myself describe yourself in three words i would say i am strong i'm a strong person not you know physically because i'm a weak bitch okay but i'm a strong person i am very genuine i think my you know, my family and friends would say that as well. And I'm very adventurous. Yeah, I definitely describe myself as strong, genuine, and uh, adventurous. Yeah, that's me. That's me. One thing you never leave the house without. Lip gloss. My phone. One thing, my phone. I, no, lip gloss. My, sometimes I do forget my phone at home. Um but it's, it definitely have to be like lip gloss or something celebrities you'd like to meet oh come on now um celebrities that i'd like to meet are Nicki minaj period okay i would like to meet the queen the generous queen the Nicki minaj how would you barbie you know the ninja i would like to meet Nicki minaj then um definitely would like to meet uh two chains yeah but mrs is doing the most right now we can't even like go to any type of place uh i'd like to meet uh who else nikki two chains oh my goodness i my god i would love to meet angelina jolie because her cheekbones it just it just do something to me it's just be like wow beautiful just amazing okay and lastly i would like to meet ian summer hold turn off and turn on any person uh i hate lazy people okay actually i don't hate them hate is a strong word um i don't like lazy people i don't like people who are arrogant i don't like people who don't really uh have a plan for their lives who just go about their life and just be like like the type of person that always have time to hang out is like don't get me wrong i enjoy the people who always have time to hang out but at the same time it's like it bothers me that they don't take their life serious maybe um so that's definitely a turn off for me oh my goodness yeah definitely a turn off i really hate when people don't take their lives serious it just bothers me it, like it just don't sit right with me it's just like you're comfortable just being that like that's it there's like no back actually you shouldn't even move backwards because you didn't even move front okay so i don't like it i don't like it at all it just makes me feel like just 
Okay, just so comfortable. Um, now for my turn on. Turn on in a person. Oh my goodness. You know, people who just are very open-minded, who are um, intelligent, uh, forgiving. I love people who are forgiving because, you know, people make mistakes. So, you know, you know like, why not? And what else? Religious. Uh, that's a big turn on. People who are, like, you know, religious and independent. And, you know, caring and respectful, things like that. You know, like, just clap for these people, okay? Clap for these people because these people are amazing. Look at you. Look at you. Like, clap, 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 Just amazing. You guys are amazing. The last question. The last question. The last question says, are you a smart person? You know when you have a dream and you and you and you you know, and, I don't know. I consider myself uh, smart in certain areas and stuff like that. And you know, I hope you guys are staying inside. Be safe because Mrs. is keeping everybody inside. Okay, I'm not even gonna say her name because she just be doing way too much in. I say she because it's a she, you know, it's a she. Because women just, they do everything but leave. So this is what this this woman is doing right now. No, actually, this is a girl. She's annoying, okay? But guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it because I have, I had a lot of fun making this video. And guys, don't forget, this is my first ever video. Like, don't forget to subscribe so you can see more. Like... Please. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the comment section, hit the DMs to let me know if you have any ideas of what videos I should do. You know, give me some ideas, give me some things to pose that you guys would definitely enjoy watching.